This is Aya from Carnuva Detailing. Hoping you guys are all having a great day. Today I am here with Bill from Lithium Auto Elixir Solutions. Excuse me. Now I've worked with some of these products in the past. You guys have seen a few of them on my YouTube channel as well. Today again I'm with Bill, owner and founder of Lithium. Um, how, how's your day going so far, Bill? Not too bad. Yeah, awesome. it's a great show. You've seen it. It's crazy here. Oh and my gosh, I'm still trying to take in everything, and it's like day three for me. So yeah, we're excited, and uh, we do. Much rather be out there seeing all the cool stuff, but we're here and uh, love it. Here, put in and work. So yes, indeed. Tell me a bit about lithium. Tell me how maybe it all started, and also get into some of the products that you guys offer as well. Awesome. Well, you know, we actually started out just formulating products for ourselves, and we had a group of car collecting friends that we would send it out to, and they started asking us to do more and more, and that was. A you know, quite a few years ago. We'd formulate something, see how it worked. But what makes the product unique is we never really chased profit because that was never our goal. We always just chased performance and how do we get it better? How do we impress our buddies who are putting them on their cars? How do we do this to get it up to the next level of performance? Yeah. And over the years that evolved and as time went on, the distribution channels begin to open up and we started to think, wow, Look at all the guys who keep coming back to us. Maybe there are people out there like-minded that are about performance over anything else. And so that's what we decided to do was start the company and build on products that really have unique you know, ingredients and formulations to them that take detailing up to the next level. Yeah, awesome. Like I said, I got my hands on some of them as well. They were sent out to me, and I've enjoyed all of them so far. Number one, user experience, great. Super easy to use. And again, like you was talking about results, I was getting some really awesome results. Hide Rehab was one that I liked a lot. Nice matte finish, no, like a lot of gloss or shininess to it. And the leather actually feels a lot more supple afterwards as well. So that was a standout product for me. Um, besides that, something that I see you guys stressing a lot is just the, the, the natural basis of your products and solution, how they're safe for the detailer and the enthusiast alike, right? Indeed. You know, for years, everything was about chemicals and solvents and how do you emulsify it for cheaper? Well, solvents are much less expensive yeah. than using natural and high-end ingredients. So we never, like I said, never cared about that. So we always went after, how do we put a natural ingredient on something like leather? Mm -hmm. Because long-term solvents are gonna break down that, you know, that kind of surface. And so yeah, sure. we got away from that and thought, if it's a long-term program, we want it to continue to build up and make it healthier and healthier. And the only way to do that are use ingredients that are healthy. So, awesome. so can you just go over some of the products that you're currently offering? Maybe some standout ones that you just personally love. I'm sure you love all of them. Yeah. I mean, you, you're pretty much developing everything. So, um, uh, but like some standout ones that you think will benefit a lot of people out there that maybe haven't tried any of your products so far. You bet. Yeah. So one we have that's interesting, this came out for the show, yeah. and this is one I'd been working on for about 10 years actually, mm -hmm. and it's for single stage paint that's, you know, the classic cars that don't have the clear coats, and they have a tendency to oxidize and lose oils and that sort of thing. Yeah. So that coming back to the natural part of it that we were talking about, Quench is actually a rehydrating wax okay. that we emulsified with avocado seed oil and grapeseed oil. Okay. And we chose grapeseed oil because it has great antioxidant qualities, mm -hmm. and it goes in there and actually eats up that oxidation and replenishes the vital oils back into the paint. And people say, Oh, you know, paints don't really need oils and things like that, but they're actually extremely porous. They do. Trust yeah. me. Yeah, they do. Yeah. And when you actually replace those in there, you would not believe the pop of color you get from these older paint jobs. Yeah, and that's a pretty unique, I mean, I haven't seen anything like that on the market before, so it's really unique. Typically, I mean, you have your carnauba, beeswaxes, stuff like that, exactly. but those are just waxes. They don't necessarily just focus on the conditioning of the actual paint itself, especially for single stage stuff, so. Exactly, and that's what we kind of went after was, 
how do we get those guys? There's so many classic cars out there, and no one wants to take away the original paint. Yeah. You know, if you can leave it original, the value's there. And so we started catering to these guys who were writing us emails and letters and saying, hey, here's what I have to get done. So we listened, and that's what we played around with. So. Yeah, for sure. Another thing that I was um, talking to Bill just a few minutes ago is, I, number one, I love your packaging. It's clear, so I can Thank see you. through it, <laughs> yeah. and I know how much I got left, so it makes it easy on me using this stuff all the time. And number two, you are making products that aren't the hype of the market right now. Like, you're not chasing after necessarily like co ceramic coatings and stuff like that. You're, you're creating products that are unique, number one, but also seem like they're fun to apply. And for me, I love waxing my car. But the last time I pulled out a paste wax on a customer's vehicle was like in forever because it's spray sealing, stuff like that are a lot more popular and easier to use. So it's nice for me as an enthusiast to go back to my, my Audi A8 and go ahead and apply something like your paste wax or something like this on, my, on a classic car as well. So. Well, that's basically, we're not that bright. <laughs> we should be chasing the ceramics and stuff like that. But we did find though that for us, if you go and ceramic coat a guy's car, that's great. Yeah. But then for most part, he's lost on Saturday. Exactly. <laughs> what do I do? And we actually enjoy the interaction with the vehicle. Yeah. And we actually, you know, it's a little analog, but it does take things to the next level as far as just being able to get in there and do it. Nobody wants to put their car behind glass. Yep. Yeah, it may stay clean and never get scratched and do whatever, but there's something therapeutic, as we all know, yep. about yep. getting down and dirty with your car, exactly. and we just love it. So, and so that, that focus, exactly, that focus on enthusiasts that love taking care of their cars on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. Um, I just love that about a lot of, not there's not so many manufacturers out there focusing on that, but there are a few that really do an outstanding job, and I think you guys are nailing, nailing on the head pretty well, so. Yeah, and you know, it's not that we won't go after technology because we oh, love yeah, technology course, yeah. but yeah there's a t there's a place where this a place in a time and especially yeah. right now i think the ceramic market is so flooded you know all those really durable longevity based products out there there's so much push on that and it's such a flooded market so yeah and, yeah. They, and they do a great job and they've got their yeah. place but you know we take a different tack yeah. like our clay bars are we don't use synthetic clays. We use all volcanic sourced natural muds, yeah. and they have a stickiness to them that's almost a pain because they're so ad adhesive, you know, but it's all it natural really again. Great job to yeah, it really lifts out those particles. Yeah. And for example, we've got a product called Leather Love. This has got shea butter in it, refined coconut oil, lipids. Mm -hmm. So when it gets on the leather, it actually, it's like putting water on a sponge. It just kind of, it takes that dehydrated leather and sucks it in and kind of expands the micro cracks and pushes them doesn't heal them but it pushes them back together so they're not as noticeable because yeah. now it's opening up the leather and doing yeah. but you know all naturally rub it on with your bare hands if you want to and when conditions you're done, your hands a bit more yeah <laughs> exactly awesome, my wife loves it yeah. so you That's know we great. just do things like that and we don't do it with a set agenda we do yeah. what works best uh -huh. and if it doesn't we're not Okay, we're not that bright, but we're still capitalist. Yeah. It has to work good for the customer, exactly. and it has to make them come back and say, this is fantastic. Awesome. awesome. So, Yeah, Any anything coming up maybe early 2020 that people want to watch out for? I know you got a couple new products coming up, but um, I'm really excited to see more of you guys, to be honest, because I really like your Instagram page and everything like that, and I'm all about supporting um, smaller companies as well. Which we're so, grateful for. Yeah, Thanks. no problem, man. That's why I'm here, because I'm a small business. I mean, I, I just started detailing a few years ago, so I really appreciate the support from my viewers and listeners as well. I want to share that back to as many people as I can. So, Which um, we're but, grateful. Yeah, no Thank problem. You. So is there is there anything coming up that you're super excited for, maybe 2020, that you want to talk about? Yeah, well, we've got one called Color Blast, which is a spray-on detailer, which brings in some natural rare earth oils that have okay. been double refined, and it just goes on trying to stay away from the silicones and things like that. Yeah, gotcha. and you know, keeping body shop safe, and yep, yep. but they really bring out the color in these cars. And a lot of people will say, oh, I got a clear coat, it's not gonna work. Clear coat is nothing but paint without pigment in it. Yes, exactly. And so if you take care of it, it does continue to refract light and do really great things to, for the shine. Yeah. And so, you know, we're working on things like that. We've got, you know, new, new waxes that we're playing around with all the time of mixing very, you know, the big thing is Carnuba. Yep. But for new detailing shop. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but we also love to play around with montane waxes uh -huh. and you know other rare rice waxes and things like that that have high melt temperatures 
but just bring in different color levels and refract light in a different way and bring a warmth to the car paint or a pop to it. And you can actually dictate what's going to happen in that in that scenario by the ba you know the biological basis behind yeah. the waxes. It's, it's crazy. I'm I'm not I'm not the brightest person ever. Um, and I know nothing about chemistry. I barely passed with a C, but it's okay. <laughs> I pass. Um, and I talk to guys like yourself. I talk to guys like Dave Phillips from PNS and some other um, chemical manufacturers and stuff like that. And the stuff that goes behind this technology is amazing. And you think with all the products on the market, like you just run out of ideas. But obviously, there's so much stuff that you can still do with natural ingredients and, and chemicals as well. When you put it, combine them together, sometimes it just makes magic. So It's funny. It's like being a songwriter. You think, how many notes and tunes can you yeah. put together? Yeah. But if you really are passionate about it and you have enough pots and pans at your house that you can ruin, you know, you can melt up and put up and concoct so yeah. many different formulas that the, the variations are endless if yeah. you're doing that's That's a perfect connection right there. Music, I mean, mu music is never going to end. Like, how many songs are out there, like you said? And I think the same goes with products and chemicals at the end of the day. It's, it's going to continue to advance and get better, and new things, new exciting things are going to come out. So, um, Bill, thank you so much, man. Do you want to add anything else? One last thing. Where can people find you guys on Instagram, social media, and also how can people get your products most of the time? Well, you know, we do have a couple of online partners that we work with. There's okay. Carzilla in Canada. Okay. There's Detail Connect. There's Chicago Auto Pros that they can go awesome on and get guys. that. Yeah, oh, we love guys, Jason. Yeah. They're just awesome. Yeah, I, was at, I was at the Glass Parency event with them um, with the GP20, and they, yeah, it's awesome guys. Yeah. yeah, we really love working with all these guys, and that's what makes this fun is there's just such great guys. You'd hang out with them anyway, even yeah. if they weren't buying your products. And so, you know, that's what we really enjoy. So they can get them on those. They can come to our own website at www. Um, what's our name again? It's the... <laughs> <laughs> lithium it's yep. under lithiumautocare.com awesome awesome and from my understanding you can purchase stuff on amazon as well right that's you another can. option cool. yep cool and also social media where can people find you guys most of the time well they can find us on instagram you yep. know great videos like you guys are doing and stuff thank like you that. man i appreciate yeah. it yeah. you know stuff like that that people are just out there using it yeah. giving us their feedback and, and it's uh, i mean i contact these guys all the time through instagram very personal if you guys ask them any questions i'm gonna get back to you pretty much asap with the quality answer so Awesome, Bill. Thank you so much again for your time. Yeah. I really appreciate really it, man. I appreciate you guys. Um, again, guys, I'll try to leave all the links in the description below and also in the video as well on where to find their products and social media platforms. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day, okay? Thank you.